actually the pandemic itself is a issue, very serious issue as far as uh, education and equity in education is concerned uh, just in the afternoon i had been to a government high school in bangalore so i'm not even talking about rural areas and right. the teachers are really apprehensive that many of the students are going to drop out of school this year so you know in middle class families our children have been attending online classes pretty much throughout the pandemic uh, right. so their education has not been affected but if you look at the government system i would say 90% of children go to government schools or and government colleges have not received any education in the last 8 months when you are young the chances that you will forget what you learned 8 months before is extremely high in the meantime young girls are being pressured into marriage boys and girls are getting into child labor they are earning some small amounts of money and so there's a real fear that there will be a learning loss and more than that there will even be an out of school dropout situation now so to bridge this gap i think there is no easy solution see teacher development will work but what are the devices are not there what the connectivity is not there what infrastructure is not there mm-hmm. now this cannot be left to the private sector alone to invest in and make it happen because education is not a business you are not going to be able to make money out of selling hardware or selling connectivity to schools in remote poor, poor rural areas of course there will be elite schools in urban areas where you know it's possible that, uh, that you can have it as a business proposition so i think what kerala has done is uh, you know kerala in many ways is a role model for the country they have invested very hugely in setting up infrastructure and connectivity across the entire state kerala mm-hmm. is a small state i agree but kerala is hilly kerala has got forests so they have the challenges of terrain like others have the only difference is they have decided to invest money in making the infrastructure available once the infrastructure is available teacher development is possible teacher networks are possible what rural urban devil you are talking about the networks of teachers is the best way to bridge it so rural teachers and urban teachers are connected private school teachers and government school teachers are connected high school teachers and primary school teachers are connected teachers are connected across subject across medium then the kind of learning possibilities that we will see we will make sure that the best of the learning possibilities in one place the ideas and knowledge of both that is available everywhere and i think technology can play the role of a connector and the connector will enable the bridging of the divide but that requires huge investment 